There is no doubt that when you think of robots, you think of Boston Dynamics. Throughout the years, the company has developed more and more robots that can do everything from washing the dishes to gymnastics and everything in between. Now they are at the top of the list when it comes to robotics. But did you know that it took Boston Dynamics almost two decades to achieve their level of success in this area? And in today's video, we're going to tell you about Boston Dynamics and how it has evolved over the past two decades. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Hey everyone, welcome to AI Universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech and the trends, but also the vital difference between the haves and the have-nots. With that being said, let's get into it. There is no doubt that Boston Dynamics is known for its ability to create robots that enrich people's lives. Boston Dynamics, with its ambition to build dynamically stable legged machines, aims at transforming the lives of the general public. As a result of the design of the robots, they are unique in that they can traverse terrain which is physically unreachable for others and can perform automated tasks in unstructured environments. Over the years, the company has come up with innovative robots that have gained immense popularity among people all over the world, but their first robot was called Big Dog. Boston Dynamics built this robot back in 2005. The project was done in conjunction with Foster Miller, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and the Concord Field Station at Harvard University. Big Dog has no wheels. Rather, it uses all four of its legs to move across different surfaces. This robot has been recognized as being one of the most ambitious legged robots in the world. Big Dog stands three feet tall, weighs 240 pounds, and is about the size of a small mule. It can traverse difficult terrain, travel at four miles per hour, carry 340 pounds, and climb a 35-degree incline. In order to control the robot's locomotion, an onboard computer receives inputs from various sensors mounted on it. In addition to locomotion, the control system handles the robot's balance and navigation. Big Dog's walking pattern is controlled through four legs, each equipped with four low-friction hydraulic cylinder actuators that power the joints. It's a lot of fun to watch Big Dog walk. It can stand up, sit down, crawl with one leg at a time, trot with diagonal legs, or run with a crawling gait. The speed of Big Dog ranges from a 0.45 mile per hour crawl to a 3.6 mile per hour trot. Those actuators are equipped with sensors that track joint position and force, and the movement is controlled by an onboard computer that handles the sensors. Big Dog has about 50 sensors. The sensors measure the body's acceleration and attitude, its motion, and the force of its actuators, as well as the engine speed, temperature, and hydraulic pressure. Both low-level and high-level controls, such as positioning and force of joints, and altitude and velocity during locomotion are controlled by the onboard computer. On March 23, 2008, Boston Dynamics released video footage of a new generation of Big Dog known as Alpha Dog. It shows Big Dog's ability to walk on icy ground and get back on his feet after being kicked. Boston Dynamics has designed a refined version that's better than the Big Dog in terms of capabilities and used to dismounted soldiers. In February 2012, with further DARPA support, the militarized leg squad support system variant of Big Dog demonstrated its capabilities during a hike over rough terrain. In summer 2012, DARPA planned to finish development of the system and refine its key capabilities, making sure it would work for dismounted warfighters before it went to squads operating on the front lines. Big Dog must be able to walk a 20-mile trek in 24 hours without refueling while hauling a 400-pound load. Its vision sensors will also be improved. At the end of February 2013, Boston Dynamics released video footage of a modified Big Dog with an arm. The arm can grab and throw stuff. The robot is relying on its legs and torso to help power the motions of the arm. Apparently, it can lift weights of up to 50 pounds. At the end of December 2015, the Big Dog project was discontinued. It was hoped that one day it would work like a pack mule for U.S. soldiers in the field, but it was deemed too noisy. A similar project for an all-electric robot named Spot was quieter, but it was limited to carrying 40 pounds. Both projects aren't in progress, but the Spot Mini was released in 2019. We'll talk about that later in the video. Anyway, after Big Dog, a new robot appeared named Little Dog. It is a small four-legged Boston Dynamics robot that has been developed in the year 2010. A total of three electric motors drive this robot. One of the interesting features of this robot is the fact that the sensors measure joint angles, motor currents, body orientation, and foot-ground contact. This makes Little Dog a good climbing robot. The lithium polymer batteries in the robot enable it to work continuously without recharging for 30 minutes at a time. While this robot is definitely more than what its name indicates. Also on June 23, 2016, Boston Dynamics revealed the four-legged canine-inspired spot that only weighs 25 kg and is lighter in weight than their other products. In November of 2017, a promotional video that showed the spot using its forward claw to open a door for another robot 
reached the top of the charts on YouTube with over 2 million views. On another video the same month, Spot was seen attempting to open the door despite human interference in the face of Spot's persistence. In the eyes of the viewers, the robot was creepy and reminiscent of all the sci-fi robots that wouldn't give up on their quests to seek and destroy. On May 11, 2018, Mark Raybert, the CEO of Boston Dynamics, announced at TechCrunch Robotics Session 2018 that the Spot robot was in pre-production and ready for commercial availability in 2019. According to its website, Boston Dynamics states that Spot is the quietest robot they have ever built. It says that it has plans to build the first 100 spots later this year with contract manufacturers for commercial purposes, with them starting to scale production with the goal of selling Spot in 2019. On the other hand, journalists were informed in September 2019 that the robots will not be sold, but they will be leased to a select group of business partners. Later, it was announced in November 2019 the Massachusetts State Police had become the first law enforcement agency to use Spot Mini as a robot cop as well as a bomb squad. As of January 23, 2020, Spot's SDK is available for anyone via GitHub. It will allow programmers to create custom applications for Spot to perform various tasks that could be used across a wide range of industries. It was announced on June 16, 2020 that Boston Dynamics has made Spot available for the general public to purchase for $74,500, equivalent to $78,006 in 2021. Furthermore, on June 23, 2020, SpaceX was able to use a lone spot named Zeus at their Boca Chica Starship test site to help contain subcooled liquid nitrogen and to inspect potentially dangerous sites at and around the launch pad. On the 9th of July, a team of spot robots supported by a team of SoftBank Pepper robots performed as cheerleaders in the stands during a baseball match between the Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks and the Rakuten Eagles. Moreover, Spot performed an inspection tasks on the SCAR floating production storage and offloading vessel in November 2020. As of April 9, 2021, Michael Reeves has created a YouTube video in which he attaches a pressurized beer canister with a penis-like nozzle, which detects red plastic cups and dispenses beer into them. As announced in October 2021, Boston Dynamics will collaborate with Zepth, a solution provider for the construction industry to combine Spot's data collection capabilities with Zept's technology that is able to provide insights into the data which can therefore lead to enhanced efficiency, productivity, and collaboration throughout each stage of a project's life cycle. The company also recently announced that Stretch, its newest robot designed specifically for warehouses and distribution centers, is now available for commercial purchase. Stretch is a part of a new generation of mobile robots, one of the most advanced in the world today. Stretch, which was introduced in 2021, has been in pilot testing with a select group of customers since then. All units scheduled for delivery in 2022 have already sold out thanks to those early customers, including DHL Supply Chain, Gap, H&M and performance team Amersk Company. Boston Dynamics is now taking reservations for 2023 and 2024. The Stretch robot is a versatile mobile unloader of trailers and containers that makes warehouse operations safer and more efficient. This robot can handle a wide range of packages, from standard brown boxes to highly graphical ones, and can handle cases up to 50 pounds. Stretch has advanced mobility and a footprint the size of a pallet, so it can easily get in and out of trucks and squeeze into tight spots in a warehouse. In just a few days, the robot can be installed and ready to work inside existing warehouses. As you've all seen, Boston Dynamics has changed from Big Dog to Stretch in two decades, making it the best robot manufacturer. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Tell us in the comments which robot you like the most in these. And we hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics and catch you in the next video. Until then, peace.